This is the Reese Explorer steel rooftop basket um, that uh, they sell it at Walmart. It regularly sells for, I think, $99. It's on clearance right now for $21. You can't beat this, $21. Um, it's powder coated uh, pretty well. Um, uh, I haven't put it together yet. It comes with this windshield, some hardware, and some uh, some stuff. So uh, it's really not bad. I would not have considered this brand, but to the price uh, for uh, for this, I mean, my goodness, for $21, you, you can't beat it. Uh, so it's not the heaviest in the world, but it, it will hold... Uh, a few uh, pounds I would imagine I don't know if there is a uh, it says that the maximum weight capacity is 125 pounds I mean that's an ice chest some gears some other stuff so we're gonna put this on top of the uh, Cherokee XJ all right this is everything it comes with some U clamps uh, the clamp anyway your um, your hard, all your hardware here, these things here are kind of a, uh, a spacer that goes in between there. And here we go. 120, the basket weighs 25 pounds, weight of the cargo, so do not exceed your rack's limit of 150 is what it says here. So, All right, once you've got everything out, uh, the directions say get some rubber safe uh, lubricant, which it doesn't come with, so any silicone lubricant will do. Uh, don't use petroleum base because it'll break the rubber down and you take these little gaskets here and you're going to slide them over here okay uh, and take this and slide it on the bottom the directions to say to slide these rubber gaskets over to the front and the rear section but you really can't do that because they they hit this bar so you need to slide them over the middle before you put these together and once you slide the pieces together, you need to have these holes aligned because once we put the screw in, these gaskets go over it. Then once, once those holes are aligned right there, and you've got your gasket on, then you take a, a self-tapping screw and washer and go all eight of these, goes in each one of those holes. Okay, the screw should look like this with the rubber washer and then you take these gaskets and you see this seam here these gaskets slide over that seam all the way to that rubber washer that keeps water out and they've changed the design of this because see how the screw is on the side and the gasket is just covering the seam if you look at this original picture they've got the screw on the top with a little space and cut out so but I bet water was getting in there so they've changed the design on that for the better all right, so these things are so cheap. Like I said, at Walmart right now, they're $21. You could take a middle set, you buy two of them and take two middle sections and actually make it that big if you wanted. Um, there's only two crossbars though on, on the, G, the Jeep I'm gonna put it on, so it may wobble a little bit without any extra. So I'm not gonna do that, but uh, that is a possibility. The directions didn't say this, but I, I think they meant, because this is the only thing that makes sense. <clears throat> Once you put your screws in, these gaskets will slide over the screw, and you want to keep it over the joint, too. So, looks like over the joint, over the screw, over the joint, over the screw. Alright, this is how this goes. This plastic piece, let me show you, I'll lift this up. This plastic piece has to snap between these so you put it down and it'll snap and then this goes over it and you tighten these up okay that's the finished product so it doesn't look too bad it's a uh, for twenty twenty one dollars, I mean, my God, it's hard to beat. And it'll give some functionality to it. It's actually pretty sturdy. And what you do have to do is center it on these crossbars. If you don't have crossbars, you'll have to get some. But as you can see, it needs to be centered on there.
tracks on eBay. This one's pretty good. You see how this gasket kind of round gasket they give you covers up the screw hole and it covers up where these two join. That's really good to prevent moisture from getting in there. I don't know how long these will last, you know, being in the sun, but we'll find out. The powder coating is very good. It's pretty heavy duty uh, for $21. You really can't beat it. Regular price was $100, so go to your local Walmart.